everybody. I'm Katie. And I'm Kat. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Kitty, Kitty Gang, Gang Show. Today we bring you a DIY on how to make cement planter pots. The supplies that you're going to need are cement, container that you wish to do it in, something to mix, as well as a little bit of oil. Let's get started. You're gonna start with your mixing bowl. The cement ratio is four to one. You could be like everybody else and measure it, or more like us and just kind of eyeball it. We chose to use the quick dry cement. It says about 20 to 30 minutes, um, but where we live, it's extremely humid and that's not a reality. So we've been leaving them for about 14 to 16 hours every time, if not a little bit longer. Mine's looking a little bit too liquidy, so I'm gonna just go ahead and add a touch more of the cement. Much better. So, since we're using a plastic container and we would like to be able to get the planter out, I'm gonna just go ahead and oil the inside of it. It doesn't affect anything, just makes it a little bit easier at the end when it's dry. a quick little mix and then you're going to take the inside mold and give that a quick oil as well once it's good find the center and place it down as you can see it's going to want to just float right back up to the top so we're going to just add a little bit of water or some sort of weight to hold it down if you're finding that you're still having difficulties just tape it find whatever works for you Perfect. And now we wait. So we've let our cement dry for 14 hours this guy. This is actually our fourth time doing it, so it didn't come out really well the first couple times. Um, this is one we made earlier as well, just really simple. We would just tape it off at the top and then painted one solid color down. Kind of like how it looks like a paper bag, cement bag. So this one I'm gonna attempt to um, make polka dots. And I actually sent myself a guide with some masking tape um, just to keep me in line for at least the first one. The paint we got from Bunnings, um, these are the sample sizes you could get for like $10 each and they're exterior paint. And we picked it because we like how it um, dries matte as opposed to acrylic paint that tends to dry um, shiny. So with polka dots, um, you wanna try to use like a flat head brush because the edge will help you make that circle. Um, holy hell, it's hot. Um, oh, fuck. For fuck's sake, get you know. Cool. Now that your planter pots have dried and you've painted them, you're gonna wanna go ahead and plant something in them. Mm -hmm. So we didn't put any holes in the bottom of these. So you're gonna wanna put some rocks in them, or, you know, I think these are just like glass beads in them, yeah. um, at the bottom, just to separate the water from the roots so that you don't get root rot in your plants. And um, yeah, I'll show you what we're gonna be doing here. Okay, do you need more rocks? No, no. is that enough rocks? Yep, that's perfect, okay. So just make sure you have enough rocks to completely cover the bottom. That's what I had just asked Katrina if I needed any more, and she said no, nope, that was good. So we good. Come set. And then we're gonna put some dirt. And then a little bit more, and we're just gonna kind of build it up for some support. And we'll go from there. Um, yeah, and you wanna make sure, because these are succul succulents, you wanna um Make sure that the dirt is really, really wet. So after we've um, planted these guys, we're gonna uh, really soak the soil. So when we moved into this apartment, um, our next door neighbors at the time um, had like a huge garden on their balcony and they gave us like a welcome home gift or like a hello neighbor gift. And this is where this is from then, I remember. This one we definitely took from somewhere that we probably shouldn't have, but yeah, again, for good come ask. <laughs> That's cute that they gave them to you. Yeah, it was I mean, a nice, but really, yeah, they were really into gardening and they made some cool things, so. Lightly pack down your dirt. Anything else? 
Um, yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's really wet. Is that water? Yeah. And the dirt's gonna compact and then you can add some more dirt in. And I actually added um, a layer of chalk paint at the front so I could write what this plant is. And I don't know what this plant is, so I'm gonna have to Google it. And oh, if it anybody down. knows what this plant is, please tell us. Okay, neat. Done. Woo! <laughs> um, we also just wanna take the time to tell you that not everything you make is gonna turn out perfect in the way you want it. Mm -hmm. um, we attempted Perfect. to make a larger planter pot and it actually cracked and broke. So we decided- You're like, you know what, wabi sabi. You're gonna just make it pretty and use yeah. it anyways. So just remember, nothing is ever really a mistake. It's just a learning, just a learning curve. And um, if you clearly, I don't know if we can put a plant in there, but we're gonna use it maybe for some paintbrushes or something else, so. Mm -hmm. We might put an orchid in it since it doesn't actually use that much dirt and more like moss and it actually might come out of it. So I don't know, stay tuned. We'll show we'll you. See. Yeah. <laughs>